guys. We're, we're pulling up to Loxahatchee Wildlife uh, Preserve here in uh, Parkland, Florida. Well, hey everybody, it's Mike with Screaming Eagle Bass Catcher. I'm down in South Florida on a week-long fishing trip. I'm hitting a couple of my favorite places. Um, believe it or not, I grew up here, and um, right now I'm at Loxahatchee Wildlife Preserve uh, in uh, Parkland, Florida, and this is where I used to fish when I was a kid. Uh, my dad and I would come here every weekend, and then he'd pick me up after uh, school when I got into high school and we'd come here and spend the afternoon fishing. Uh, I used to used to love fishing here. I caught my personal best bass here. Uh, it's been a while. I'm hoping to maybe change that today, but we'll see. I can always hope. But um, I noticed a few changes around here that uh, I wasn't uh, prepared for, I guess. Um, one of the things is, you know, they charge you to park here. That's a first for me. Um, they never had that when we you know but that we're talking you know a long time ago but uh, another thing I noticed is that they want you to have a 10 foot uh, high flag an orange flag on the back of your boat kind of like the airboats do so if you go off the canal outside of the canal the rim canal um, and get into the flats area where of course I like to fish um, that's where you have to have this flag so it's a new regulation that I really wasn't aware of until now So I'm gonna do some rim canal fishing, maybe skirt out into the flats a little bit, push my luck, we'll see. Um, but I'm hoping to catch some fish. It's a, it's a rainy morning. Uh, there's gonna be a, a thunderstorm coming in later. I'm hoping to get a couple hours in, maybe avoid this thunderstorm and get back out again. Um, but we'll see. Uh, I'm excited and uh, I'm ready to go catch some fish. So let's do it. Man, oh man, I'm getting hits with this thing and just not connecting. I'm gonna hit it again. Boy, I tore that one up. Almost catch. These bass are, are hitting the heck out of my frog, but 
I don't know why I'm not connecting with them and uh, for some reason I am not hooking up so we'll just keep trying and until we get one Right, got one. Nope, we got him. Oh, yeah. yeah, I got him. It's a little one. <laughs> wow, he's a little one. Look at that. Well, <laughs> first fish of the day. Um, wish it a little bit bigger than that, but hey, no skunk for me. All right. All right, finally. Well, he slammed it good. go number two another small one but hey been a while it's nice to catch one and I'm on the worm I'm sorry the frog I don't know why I keep saying it, calling it a worm but Boy, this one's not much bigger than the other one. Wow. Well, here we go. Grow up. Catch you again. He hit it pretty hard, though, on the surface. Hopefully, you'll see it in the, the video. Let's see if I got time to catch one more. All right, guys, I'm gonna call it a day. I'm gonna come back here tomorrow morning and do some more frogging and see if I can pick up some more fish. Uh, it was a fun day today, but it was a little slow um, as far as bringing in big fish. I, I caught two small ones and uh, um, I had a bunch of hits, but they just weren't grabbing it. Uh, so I'm gonna use the frog again tomorrow and see what we can catch so don't go anywhere and uh, watch day number two because it's coming up next Hey everyone, it's uh, Michael Screaming Eagle Bass Catcher back here uh, for day two at Loxahatchee Wildlife Preserve. Um, as you can see in the background, I'm sure um, I have my flag. I was able to borrow one from my buddy, and uh, hopefully that will do the trick. I got it rigged up, um, but we'll see. We'll see if uh, anybody says anything. But I'm in the back country and. Um, I'm gonna do some more frogging and see if I can catch some big fish today. Uh, yesterday, just a couple small fish, and um, you know, it is what it is. We're enjoying the the, the peacefulness and the, the beauty of the Everglades, and um, can't ask for anything more than that. So let's see if I'm catching some fish today.
All right. like that Florida, Florida wet sunshine there. Your storms come through so fast and hard and you just can't get out of the way. You just have to hunker down and fish through it, I guess. But uh, yeah, it's uh, amazing how much water drops, drops here. All right. Oh, yeah. A nice bass. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Number two, got on the air bait again. All right. Number two, nice one. Top water hit too. Oh no! Oh no! He threw it with a double treble hook situation. Wow! Nice fish though. Oh, 
Oh yeah. Big old mudfish. Guess what? Got another fish. Fish on. Boy, it feels pretty good. Oh yeah. Oh, real good. Oh yeah, it's a nice bass. Oh good. Just taking my drag. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. Nice fish. Nice fish. All right. Yeah, this is the nicest one of the day. Yep. And I'm on the chatterbait. Hi right, guys, big one of the day. Looks like uh, two pounds, six ounces. Not too bad. Nice fish. Got them on the uh, chatter bait. And uh, this will conclude my fishing day today. Uh, good way to stop after catching a nice uh, two and a half pounder. I'm gonna let her go. And uh, we're gonna start heading back. There she goes. Well, I enjoyed my day today. Hopefully you guys will enjoy the video. And if you do, please subscribe and uh, share. And um, I'll keep them coming. You keep watching. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll catch you next time. Have a good one.